All right, guys and girls, today we're taking a peek behind the scenes and taking a look at the Mr. Clicks Flicks recording area. Coming right up. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama, home of the ROC. No matter if you're in the United States or around the world, Lucky Dice Cafe has a winning role for our gaming needs. You can visit them at LuckyDiceCafe.com or on their Facebook page using the link found in the description of this video. Mr. Clicks Flicks is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, one of the largest online gaming retailers. Please visit Trollandtoad.com and use the promo code Mr. Clicks Flicks for 5% off your HeroClicks purchase today. Alright guys, so today uh, I thought I'd just do a fun video, show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes, what the studio looks like, stuff like that. Uh, sorry that this video is, uh, you know, kind of poor image and audio quality. Uh, the Sony Handycam I have uh, is the only thing I have with decent autofocus for video. Uh, I like my T3i, but no autofocus for video. It kind of makes it unusable uh, when you want to move around. So this is what we're stuck with. Uh, so here we are. This is just my uh, little area for uh, shooting figures. So we got a team right here that I'm getting ready to shoot when I'm done with this one. Um, you know, five points to Gryffindor if you can tell me what that team style is. And then uh, we got uh, some other figures down there. Uh, we've got one light over here. We've got uh, some black core board back there to act as a backdrop. Uh, then we've got another light. We've got the uh, T3i right here. I just turned it off because we're here. A very messy computer top uh, because that's where I keep, uh, well, when uh, when I'm shooting videos, i got to put the computer paper on top. And then... Um, when uh, I'm like thinking about videos to record and stuff like that, I use those notebooks to, uh, for that stuff. Keep track of them there. Then uh, we got the microphone for uh, live streaming and for videos that I record at my desktop. Then we've got the desktop, other desktop where I'm editing a picture right now, or not a picture, a video. Um, then we've got uh, some other figures, my notepad for everyday April, my phone, uh, a very broken storm figure she was perfect out of the package and then I dropped her when I was getting ready to make a video so F for respect for storm there in the comments um, so uh, when you guys see me make videos this is what I do um, I'm either sitting in that chair right there here in the basement um, except whenever I'm using this tripod there's no room for said chair so uh, there's that and then uh, over here we've got the big bin O oh, hero clicks um, when I bought the house, somebody painted the floor and it comes up sometimes, but, uh, you know, this is where I record and it works out pretty good. Uh, you know, someday I'll probably finish it so that we get better acoustics down here. But, uh, normally, uh, the reason for the big box of Hero Clicks is, uh, when I record videos, I typically do them batch style. Like, I get, like, you know, five or six videos together worth of stuff, and then I record them pretty much all in one go, and then release them, uh, just because of the amount of editing and stuff and that way I can just kind of chip at it uh, a little bit each day rather than just the day before video is supposed to come out uh, kind of rushing and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, this is just a quick video. Like I said, show you the behind the scenes stuff uh, over here. And then over here, got some of my guitar stuff over there for, uh, you know, playing music and stuff. I haven't uh, really had too much of a chance. That second baby really cramped my style. Uh, this chest of drawers is actually where I keep all my clicks. I picked this up for like four dollars at a Goodwill. Um, so there's that, got that, pheasant wing, um, some uh, Mezco 112 figures uh, for those of you guys that like that stuff. Uh, that's probably my favorite action figure right now. TMNT movie Leonardo. I'm having a devil of a time trying to find the uh, the other ones. Some storage. And then uh, over here, I've got uh, some uh, Hero Clicks figures and stuff like that. So uh, then over here, got the computer bag with uh, memory sticks just all over the place. This is normally a little bit more cleaned up, but uh, you know, since I'm shooting a video today, that's what's going on. And uh, yeah, so uh, now you guys have seen it, and uh, you know the uh, the glory that is in the studio. So uh, let me know, guys, in the comments below. Uh, you know what you think 
All right, so now that you guys have seen behind the scenes and uh, know what my setup currently looks like, uh, although, you know, I'm always looking to upgrade and stuff like that, you know, as, as uh, funds allow, uh, I thought it'd be a cool idea just to uh, tell you guys some ideas for if you wanted to start a Heroclix YouTube channel. I, I always encourage people to do that. Give it a try. Uh, because, you know, the more people we have promoting the game, the bigger the game will get and, the, you know, more cool stuff happens whenever the game gets bigger. So, really, uh, it would help out. And, uh, you know, if you start a YouTube channel, uh, reach out to me and I'm always looking to collaborate with people. Uh, you know, even if you have no subscribers, one subscribers, doesn't matter to me. I'll, I'll still, uh, you know, uh, do collaborative work with uh, just about anybody. So, uh, there's that. So, the equipment that you uh, need to start a YouTube channel is actually pretty simple and realistically if you've bought a smartphone in I'd say probably the last four years three four years uh, you have basically everything you need the camera that's on these is uh, good enough uh, camera quality to at least get you started um, for you know just kind of sitting there and, and, and recording some videos and you can actually do a ton of really cool stuff with that so you have your smartphone. Uh, I have a Galaxy S7. It's a couple years old, but this would uh, turn out plenty good video quality. Uh, so what you need for your smartphone also, if it, if it has an expandable uh, memory, uh, I'd suggest getting like a SanDisk um, micro uh, SD card. Uh, something, you know, 60, I'd say at least 64 gigs, uh, 128 uh, if you can. Uh, just so that you have plenty of room uh, to record your stuff. You got room for multiple takes and stuff like that. Uh, and then the better you get, the less takes you'll have to have. But at first, it's going to take a few. And even me, with some experience, there's plenty of times I'll need three, four, five, six tries for something to get it right. And then there's some days where it just all falls together and I get it in one take. It just really depends. Uh, so you got your, uh, US, uh, your SD card. You got your camera. Uh, the next best thing that that's going to turn a lot of people off if it's not good. People on YouTube will forgive bad video. Bad audio will turn more people off than almost anything. So if you're going to sit here and do like a talking head style video, kind of like what I'm doing right this second, uh, there's a um, USB microphone that you can get. It's actually the one that I use. It's the uh, Blue Snowball. Um, it runs about $50 on Amazon. And... Um, they have them at Walmart too, and uh, they work really good. Uh, the sound quality is pretty decent on them, especially when you consider that it's only fifty dollars. Uh, now I understand fifty dollars to some people is a lot of money, but you can spend a couple hundred dollars on a microphone fairly easily. So fifty dollars is uh, fairly cheap in in that particular realm. Uh, something that you can do uh, too, if you want to record on your phone to give your phone better um, audio quality, is Rode is a uh, R-O-D-E is a um, recording uh, a microphone company uh, a Rode VideoMic Go is what I use on my DSLR to record uh, like my top 10 figure videos and stuff like that that's the microphone I'm using for that and there's a Rode VideoMic Me that uh, plugs right in to your um, in, into your headphone jack on your phone it'll work on any phone it's got like this little grippy thing that goes in and out and holds it there and uh, it's a shotgun microphone uh, which means you got to point it in the direction that it's working uh, this is a very simple version uh, point it in the direction you need to pick up the audio and it'll sound very nice uh, it gives you some very crispy audio uh, that's about $53 50, 53 55 dollars uh, on Amazon uh, it comes with I think a, a what do they call it? A dead cat. Uh, like this little this little ball of fluff you put on the end of it to cut down on wind noise. Uh, so you have that. Uh, and then what you can do is you just plug that into your phone. You set your phone up on some books. Uh, you record yourself. You have nice video. You have nice audio. A lot of YouTubers just make money with that setup. Uh, and you just set yourself up by a nice window. And uh, that should take care of most of your lighting needs. Uh, now, if you want a tripod or you want to try to do like a vlogging style thing, uh, rather than going out and just buying a tripod to, to set your your thing up on, uh, they have a gimbal that is uh, fairly inexpensive and has a tripod on it for your smartphone. And actually, I'm going to get this for me 
Um, hopefully, I'll have it in time to go to Origins to get some uh, B-roll and uh, do some interviews and stuff like that. Uh, but it is called the uh, Moza Mini S uh, smartphone gimbal, and it runs $79, which, again, um, in the realm of gimbals, you can spend $700 very easily. So $79 is not very expensive. But, again, I understand... You know, if you're starting on a shoestring, if you're starting, you got no money, this will do it. If you've got $100, maybe $150, $200, this is what I would build onto your smartphone to uh, really start your channel off and, and set it apart quality-wise. And uh, the cool thing about this gimbal is, you know, once you set it up, you'll, you know, no matter if you move your arm around or not, the nice thing about a gimbal is it holds the camera steady. That's the cool thing about it. Uh, and it has on the bottom a uh, tripod that pulls out and then you can set it down and just have a tripod to like sit there and record your, uh, your videos with that. And it has a tracking mode and a bunch of other really cool stuff. Uh, and if you guys are interested in any of this stuff to start a YouTube channel, um, there will be uh, affiliate Amazon links uh, in the the uh, description and the first comment, uh, the pinned comment of the video, uh, they are affiliate links. Um, so they will help out the channel if you click them. And I encourage you to do so, you know, even if you don't necessarily want what's on the affiliate link, I think it's like 24 hours or something like that. Anything you buy after you click that link on Amazon will still help the channel. Uh, so those are some pretty good suggestions. Uh, there's some lighting things that you could get too, but Again, if we're trying to stay on a shoestring budget, I'd say just sit by a big a big window that's in your house. Get yourself the Rode Video Mic, the uh, Moza Mini Gimbal, and a uh, SanDisk uh, micro SD card, and you're good to go. That is, let's see here, uh, fifty because I'm looking at Amazon right now. It is uh, fifty. We'll just call that fifty and eighty is one thirty. And then $12 for the thing. Uh, so we'll say $150 shipped probably. Uh, $150 shipped to your door will get you a very nice, much better than a lot of people have, uh, YouTube channel that you can be proud of. And as far as editing goes, uh, there's Windows Movie Maker, which is free. I use that for a bunch of years, but it is basic in the most sense that something can be basic. Like it can, it can bond together two video clips but you can't do like really too many of the graphics or any overlays or anything like that uh, i use a program called muvavi and it's a 40 dollars perpetual license um editing software uh, now perpetual license is pretty important especially when you're starting out because what that means is that once you buy it it's always yours whereas if you do premiere pro or something like that you have to pay every month for as long as you use the service um and really in the realm of hero clicks I don't think any of us get the views to justify that. Now, if you get it through work or something like that and you can, you know, just sort of use it, you know, you get the, the nod to use it for uh, your YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. But otherwise, I'd really suggest Muvavi. I think it really improved um, my uh, YouTube uh, quality content. And uh, it's just really cool. Comes with some uh, pre-installed B-roll, comes with some pre-installed um, uh, audio, uh, just songs and then um, sound effects and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, a little basic, definitely not Premiere Pro, but light years better than uh, Windows Movie Maker. So if you guys have any questions about that, uh, make sure to uh, just uh, put it in the comments below. I'll do my best to uh, answer all those because, uh, you know, sometimes it's a little scary uh, getting out there and, and doing videos and stuff like that, but no reason to be. Uh, so, all right, guys, that's all I have for you today. As always, please remember that it's only critical mess if you don't have probability control.